All right, gonna go do some solo fishing today. Got my new little Lowrance unit hooked up, control the motor mounted, got my light bar, all my running lights and stuff wired up. We're gonna go try a little crappie fishing and a little bass fishing, see what happens. Folks, I didn't get it, didn't get the catch on film, but and that one will keep there. Yeah, 
and whacked her. Put him on the ice. Maybe we can get a few more of those. Well, kind of defeated. Got one tiny one. Got one on ice. Probably gonna go here in a little bit when it gets dark to our, our little honey hole. Maybe in late, me, me and Landon will probably go later, so hopefully we'll get to end up putting some more in that cooler right there. But for now, I'm gonna head on back and uh, go eat some lunch and get ready for tonight. So see you in a little while. Before all the lights gone. All right, folks. Well, one of my spec lights is working just fine. Hopefully it continues to work fine. And one of them's not. So we'll just have to, we'll have to go with what we've got. So you saw what I did today. Now you're going to see us tear them up out here with hardly any that light. Yeah, yeah, that's where you'll sit. Well, when we can. All right, folks, we're on the move. We're headed out to our little honey hole. Fish finder's working. Landon's up there in his pedestal. He's up on a pedestal. <laughs> all right, folks, we're all set up. Green light. Just set in the water at our poles. All in position to hopefully catch a slab. We're just waiting now, waiting for the bite. Oh, he's biting me. Do it, jump. Do it, you're gonna jump. Do it already. There he goes. Okay. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, he come off. I was gonna say, that had to be a little one. That says little ones do that. They just come around like a train. Yeah. They just they hit it so hard and run with it. Yeah, if I didn't have that pole set up just right, it would have pulled it in. He was trying his damnedest. And keep. That's all that matters. Oh yeah, that'll keep. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting better. Yes, it's getting wider too. Man. Another one in the box. It's a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. Yeah. Yeah, he feels pretty decent. Yeah, he's a keeper. Swallowed her, choked her. Just calm down, buddy. I'm gonna get my pole set up here. I think I might have one on this outside one. Oh well, yeah, I bought a uh, sticker ruler. Let me measure this guy right here, just to see how big he is. I'm guessing he's about 10 inches. Let's see. He is 10 inches. 10 incher, that's the perfect eating size right there, folks. The kind you like to fry it. I want you. Looks like a good one. Easy, man. You're killing those things coming up. Oh, shit. I wanted to try to pull my freaking rod in. Keep 
And he's kind of small. I'd let that one go. Yeah. This one's a keeper. Thank you. I got a fish on here. Feels pretty good. Oh, baby. Pull and drag. Slab. Well, that one's 12 inches there. 11 and a half. Let's see if we can. Not sure of the camera how big he is. Oh, he's. Almost 11. I exaggerated a little bit. Oh, there's one right here. Oh. Little guy, maybe. No, he's growing. He's got bigger. Oh, oh I thought you had one. <laughs> the one was swimming off with yours. That one will keep two. Hey, we're going to end up with some fish after all. It just took a little later. They were on the back side of that major. Sometimes it happens before the salooners say, but sometimes it'll go a little later. Definitely jerked the minnow off. Minnow molester. <laughs> yeah, drive it down. I'm literally like two to three cranks up. This pole seems to be on fire too. Every time I freaking drop it down there, dude, it's, it's getting hit. Can you lift that lid for me? I know you're getting tired of doing that. He's still on there. He's still on there. Here you go. Take that. Hang on. Catch this fish. <laughs> this feels good. Oh, damn. He's making a run. I'm getting caught up here. Another keeper. I'm going to retire that pole. Jesus. <laughs> oh, got one more. This little dinky. Yeah, I mean, he might. He would keep. Most old timers would keep that one. That's crazy, though, isn't it? It's like, it's like they're just sitting there waiting for that thing to. <laughs> Is it my turn? Look, let's see if I can drop that same minnow back down there. <laughs> He's almost dead, but we'll see. There's the bottom, a little in two and a half, set it down, wait about five seconds. Hey, Sean. Let me check this one. <laughs> you got him that time. That one looked like he had some shoulders. Ooh, 
Key, get him in the boat. Damn it, get him in the boat. You stole my fish. Are you still fixing in my hand? All right, folks, we're done. We got about, let me take a little look here and show you. We got a mess. Oh, I don't know, yeah, 15 or 20. Enough to have a good little meal tomorrow, so just get out of Dodge. It's the next morning, I got my little filet table set up and these crappie here to clean, so. Let's fillet them up. All right, this is how I always fillet my fish. Start right there. Come down the back, just like every other fish. And I always just like to pop it through about right there. Follow that cut. And then you need to turn and come up over those ribs. And then come back down them. Keep pressure down so you don't miss any of that belly meat. And it just comes right off that easy. Just like that. Do the other side. It literally takes a minute, about a minute of fish. I'm sure people can do it faster with their electric knives, but I like it this way. All there is to it. Crappie's all filleted out. Take and get that skin off. And then take out those little pin bones. Then you're good to go. There's your crappie fillet. Yum, yum. Get you some. Mm. Good eating right there. That's it. 50 fillets in the box. That's a feed for a couple good meals, probably a few. 50 fillets. The 50 piece.
And then we got one more bag to go in there. It's going to be so good. We're going to put our crappie fillets in. After we season these up real quick with some seasoned salt. Just like so. Those are done. Time to do crappie fillets. Oil's all hot. Just start dropping them in. They're only going to take a couple minutes. They'll be crispy. Perfect. Got one more in there. We got one more bag. We got two bags in here. She was hot, baby. Full of big crappy fillets. That's what you can't get in stores, folks. You gotta go out and catch it. Unless you just know somebody that'll sell it to you, and I doubt. I doubt very seriously they will. Always take a little lemon. A little squeeze. Just to add that goodness to it. Mm. So good. That's how it's done, folks, right there. Pretty easy. Doesn't get much easier. I can promise you that. Homemade tartar sauce. Just take the belly meat, my favorite part. Dip it in there. Mm. get some seconds on that.